So we're getting a lot of strange looks. Um, on campus, I think people are used to scientists doing weird things, but as we move off campus a little bit, we get weird looks. We also get a lot of support. People in the neighborhood that are pointing out spots where they've seen a lot of butterflies, and it's been, it's been pretty helpful. So what are you doing out here today? So we are collecting a local butterfly, it's the cabbage white butterfly. It's actually a very intentional effort to study a local butterfly. So a lot of our work focuses on butterflies from other parts of the world. So we study butterflies from South and Central America. We also study other butterflies from Southeast Asia. But I and the people in my lab have noticed for years this local little white butterfly that's very, very common. Um, and so we thought it might be a good system to look at how it chooses plants and how it can actually eat so many different types of plants. Because many of the butterflies we study can actually only eat one type of plant as a caterpillar, but this one can somehow eat many. Are you looking at like genetics or? Yeah, so we're different? particularly interested in the genetics. So we are um, collecting a bunch of different butterflies from around the university campus and we're hoping that that natural variation that is present in this one population can tell us something about the genetic basis of host plant usage. So when we're looking for places to find butterflies around campus, we're looking for a few things. So obviously we're looking for spots with a lot of plants, um, and in particular we're looking for flowers. Thankfully on campus there's a lot of beautiful uh, foliage. We're also going off campus a little bit to the surrounding neighborhood of Hyde Park and we're having a lot of success there too. A lot of people in their yards, they have really nice flowers, very nice gardens. It makes for a pretty yard and it also really brings in the butterflies and, and it makes for a very diverse neighborhood. We study butterflies but most of that work is actually you know, sitting in, in the lab sitting at our computer, you know, writing papers and stuff. So it's really fun to be able to take a break once a week and come out here and spend a few hours just chasing butterflies.